Hey, what's up, guys? We're here in beautiful Los Angeles, downtown California. In that is correct. DTLA. And here I am with the talented <laughs> model slash brilliant actor. Brilliant. <laughs> slash, what else do you want to add to the resume here? Just, just, I like to consider myself a kind human being. How's that? That's, <laughs> that's enough for the world. And more. <laughs> <laughs> and more. What's up, everyone? This is Cedric Jonathan. Uh, thanks for tuning in, man. And uh, my boy Benny here, he's got some thoughts. So today we're going to talk about etiquette, especially in your line of work uh, for modeling and acting. acting. Um, I do want to talk about of your top threes, do's and don'ts. I guess number one, the first thing I can think about, and this goes both ways for both modeling and acting. Uh, of all the years that I've been doing this, I've known that punctuality is important. You know, whether you're acting and they give you a call time or whether you and the photographer and you're the model um, coordinate what time and place to meet, uh, punctuality is important. A great effort to get to set or get to your location on time, if not earlier, because we're having so many people involved than yourself in this type of project that you want to make sure that you're not wasting anyone else's time, especially not your own time. Uh, number two is communication. I think communication is very, very important for both modeling and acting, um, let's say specifically for being a model. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important to communicate to the photographer um, what you're comfortable with, what you're uncomfortable with, what you guys are planning to and hoping to achieve in your project, in your photo shoot. Again, it kind of goes along the lines of not wasting your time, not wasting your photographer's time. Mm -hmm. So communication is important. Also on set for acting, uh, doing whether it's TV, film, or commercials, communication is also important because you want to make sure that you are on the same page with the director. And uh, especially with a lot of these projects, they're, they have a, a strict timeline that they have to go by. And if it's a union, you know, you have a strict timeline to follow mm -hmm. before you have to cut for break or cut for lunch. And you want to make sure you get the shots you need. And three, I, I think this goes for anything that you do in, in life. It doesn't have to be modeling or acting, but it's, it would help a lot in, in this field. It's just, just be nice. You know, don't be an asshole. That's, that's, I, I think that's just, it's, I know obviously it's common sense. It's logical, but come on guys. I mean, there is a lot of shit happening in this world right now. And the least we can do as human beings, the least we can do is just be nice to each other. You know, just have some empathy, some understanding. Don't be disrespectful. Mm -hmm nice goes a long way we call it aloha just show aloha just have aloha just live aloha because it will help a lot it will help everyone else on set to feel comfortable with you it will help the photographer feel comfortable it will help you as a person as a being um, in front of the camera uh, knowing that you are you know just bringing out this niceness about you just sending out positive vibes it will make things go very smooth and I think that's one of the biggest reasons I've been able to continue doing what I'm doing uh, for as many years as I've been doing it is because I've just been as nice as I could and as respectful as I could. So those are my three do's. So the three don'ts, it goes basically opposite of my do's, mm -hmm. but number one, don't be late. You know, I know things happen, but that also goes in line with number two being an effective communicator. Let's say that something happened unexpectedly or there was an incident on the freeway. I mean, this is, we're in LA, so I'm so used to driving. I mean, you if you guys are in LA, you're already used to driving from point A to point B and it would take a long time to get there because of unexpected traffic, unexpected accidents. I'd rather have someone who communicates with me and saying that either they won't make it or they're gonna be really late rather than somebody who's ghosting me and not communicating with me at all yes, times. Yes, and that's a great point you put out there because, look, I consider this basically a butthole move. Mm -hmm. If you were to confirm a time and date 30 minutes before that time and date of when you're supposed to meet up and then you automatically say, hey, I'm sorry, I gotta cancel, Obviously things happen and you don't expect it to if it's something that's literally outside of your control That's totally understandable But if it's something that you already knew you weren't gonna make but you end up texting or telling the person 
30 minutes prior to your set time that I'm not gonna be there, that is a terrible thing to do because more than likely the person that's meeting you there is already halfway, if not almost there. Yeah. So they drove for nothing. And if like my boy here, Benny, drives all over the place, I would hate to do that to him if we were to meet at, let's say, downtown LA, which is a far drive from you. And let's say we meet up at 4 p.m. And at 3.30, I'm like, hey, Benny, I'm not gonna make it. And you're already on the freeway you're not going to make a U-turn on the freeway. You're just going to kill some more miles to take the nearest exit and then go back or maybe kill time. My number two is a don't is being just like closed. You can be working with someone on set and they don't give you anything. You can't feel their energy. You can't feel anything. You ask them a question. They're just one word answers. He's like, how does that feel? They're like, okay. It goes along the lines of not being an effective communicator is being closed, being um, like you don't want to be there. Mm -hmm. And why are you doing it in the first place? I know there's that comfort level that all of us at some point in our careers had to get over. I know Benny's now in front of the camera more, which is great. Yes. We need to see more of him. <laughs> so I'm glad that he's putting himself out there. And at my, at myself included, you know, in the beginning part of my career, I was very intimidated, I was very shy, I was always in my head, and that's, we're always gonna be our toughest critic. But yeah, to, to, to not have energy in what you are doing is, I guess that's number two, don't, not, not, no energy, you know? It's like, do something about that. Like, it, let's say you had, and I've been there where I've worked like two, three jobs, and then I had a shoot. I'm, this is what I want to do in my career. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make a point to get energy. If I have to pound a Red Bull, which I don't like Red Bulls, but if I had to do it just to get that energy, I will. Because the most important thing is, and again, it goes along the lines of not wasting anyone's time. Exactly. Have the energy, enjoy it, enjoy the moment. That's why you're doing it, right? If you're not, if you don't have the energy and you don't like what you're doing, then don't do it at all. No one's forcing you to. I do think that if, obviously if you don't click with someone, can't force it but mm -hmm. at least put in the effort because effort, they yes. took the time to get out here and do what they do just for you yes and don't be a butthole exactly yeah don't waste anyone's time like benny just brought up a good point at least make an effort try try you know no one's gonna be pissed about you not trying but if you don't even make an effort then you're just wasting your time and you're wasting everyone else's time and yeah, that's not cool, man. Don't that's be a butthole. Cool. Don't be a butthole. So number three of don'ts, don't be a butthole. That also goes in line of, you run across a lot of personalities, whether they are fellow actors or directors or producers or even, you know, assistants, people on the staff. There, there, will, be a, you know, there will be a time where you'll come across someone that you maybe not vibe with as well. And that's totally fine. Everyone has their own personality. And um, as long as you're respectful to each other, mm -hmm. I don't see there's an issue in that. And as long as you can get the work done, there shouldn't be an issue on that. Mm -hmm. But like, you shouldn't have, I don't think anyone is right to have some form of entitlement whenever they're on a set or whether they're on a shoot. Yeah, don't so belittle anyone. Don't belittle anyone. Don't feel like you're above anyone else. You're all on the same level. You know, I treat everyone the way I would like to be treated, which is such a golden, underrated rule. Mm -hmm. and, and like Benny said, don't belittle anyone because you don't know what it took for them to get there. Yeah. We're all and on the same path. We are all in the we, same we path. Got different timings, but we'll all get there eventually. Exactly. Yeah, just enjoy your time on set, enjoy your time on the shoot, and just, and that will be very infectious. You know, having fun, even if you may have to force it a little, yeah, just, just having fun is so infectious and it, it's contagious. It gets around everyone. And that goes along the lines of energy, having that energy and then just being nice. And I think when you have all those things, the end result will be brilliant. Mm -hmm. It'll be amazing. The only thing that can't stop that is outside of our control, like nature. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you told us your top threes, do's and don'ts. That was amazing and it really helps out the people who are watching this you know yeah that way they can get an inside view of how it's like in the industry thank you yeah thank you for having me and um i, I really appreciate you yeah. actually wanting me to share what my experience have been i do have some bonus questions for you though bonus questions bring it if you had a short tip for someone who's barely starting in the industry mm -hmm. 
what would it be? Like, what's one little piece of advice? Acting or modeling, actually, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, because they correlate to, the same. Yeah, they yeah. do. They are the same. So I think if I, if someone was just had that seed in their head, honestly, I think the best thing they can do is just record themselves. Mm -hmm. Record themselves with their own devices, because. I think the benefit of doing that is if you record yourself just maybe speaking to the camera about your thoughts, like a video diary, or record yourself maybe doing an impression or acting or doing something silly, and then you watch that, I feel like that will give you more confidence yeah. of accepting yourself with how you look like in front of the camera on, on the screen. Because for the longest time, and I've done you know, a good good handful of projects. I actually have a movie that's out right now. Um, Whoa, what's yeah, the name? Um, or we can't hear it. No, you can hear it, okay. actually. They, the producers haven't um, disclosed it yet, so that's okay. why I haven't really shared it, but you can actually watch it on Roku. What? It's a rom-com. It's, a, it's, a rom, rom -com. it's actually a rom-com, yeah, but um, I play the, the, the lead. It's called Romance in Hawaii. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it was supposed to be marketed. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but whatever. It was supposed to be marketed for Hallmark, but I guess they didn't pick it up, so it's now on Roku. If we can, I guess you can drop me the link and maybe yeah. I can put it in the oh, yeah. descriptions below. Yeah, I'll, put, I'll drop you the link, you guys watch it, see what you think. Um, yeah. But um, for the longest time, I was so uncomfortable watching myself in front of the camera. And when I did movies, mm -hmm. or I even did commercials, I haven't done a ton of commercials, I would always try to like look away whenever my part came up. And that was because I wasn't comfortable seeing myself. Yeah. And I think the best thing you can do if you're just starting off and you know you have that seed planted in your head that maybe this is something you want to pursue and if it is, great, go for it. Don't look back because it's such a rewarding experience for me. Just record yourself. Cell phone, selfie, record yourself, do a daily diary, do an impression, do something silly, lip sync to a song, yeah. whatever it is. That way you get used to seeing yourself. Be creative. Be creative that way, yes. That tip is really, really helpful. Um, my other question for you would be, where can we find you, like on your socials, and oh, how yeah. can people reach you and contact you if they want to work yeah, with you? Yeah, if you so. wanna, if you wanna collab, you wanna reach me. I'm mostly on Instagram, um, not as much as I should be, but <laughs> um, my Instagram handle is at Cedric underscore Ikaika underscore Jonathan. And I'll put um, it somewhere here. It, yeah, I know it's pretty <laughs> long. Um, you can also see the works that I've done on my IMDb. Nah. IMDB page. You don't have to edit that out. I just literally <laughs> choked on my own words, but it's on my IMDB page. Actor, um, uh, well, it's not actor, but it's Cedric Jonathan is mm -hmm. my IMDB profile. So you can see all the works that I've done and how long I've been doing it. I've been, you know, acting for a good over a decade already. More than that, actually. Just realized that. But, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating myself, but it's okay. But yeah, and I've done a lot of commercials and you've probably seen, I've been getting my phone blasted for a lot of my friends I haven't spoken to in a long time, but I'm in the Hims commercial, so. Yeah, this guy has been a security <laughs> cam installer, a doctor, a dentist, a track star. <laughs> wow, that's amazing, you remember all those things. I've, I've worn many hats in front of the camera and. Um, and there's still many hats to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And then hopefully, you know, if you guys, are watching this and something that I said resonated with you and then if you want to share your experience or whatnot please reach out to me I'm very very interested in lear learning more from other people's experiences and maybe even learning from them as well too because we're all in this together so I'm glad you took the time to come out here and again in beautiful Los Angeles California at the row in the row downtown LA great weather it's mm -hmm. not raining you said there was going to be like what a monsoon happening this weekend thank god give it's take. not give or take because you know? <laughs> right now it looks beautiful sky is clear and um i recently moved to washington but i'm here visiting so you know i'm glad i was able to catch up with you um especially during the short time that i'm here i'm glad we got to create something and it's always a pleasure running into you and always a pleasure talking to you always a pleasure to be in your company man give it here man yeah. if you guys like any of this content please make sure to subscribe like comment our info will be in the description so you guys can get a hold of us thank you guys for watching thank you thank you do you have any parting words um that was it just uh let's all be nice to each other man yeah that's it that's i think that's the number one thing i want to just leave out there let's just all be nice to each other you know? perfect what a great ending <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the next one all right.
Take care. Be safe. Aloha. Peace.